Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Dr. Matt Bourne, the CTO and co-founder of Trade Ledger. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by sharing with our audience a little bit about Trade Ledger and what it is that you're trying to achieve in the financial services industry? Thanks, Ali. It's a pleasure to, to be here today with, with you guys, and I'm more than happy to talk about our exciting journey at Trade Ledger. Um, across the globe, millions of small and medium-sized businesses struggle hard to get the credit they need to run and grow their business. And ultimately, Trade Letter addresses this gap and unlocks the capital by turning data into important information to facilitate credit decisioning. We are a technology business that provides a digital and data-driven lending solution to banks and non-bank lenders. Our lending solution streamlines and automates the decision process around lending, fine testing and analyzing the digital data sources in the ecosystem. For example, we connect to accounting system data, credit bureau, or open banking, and many other data sources in order to simplify the data capturing and, ed- and enable a streamlined credit decisioning process. Lending ultimately is about high quality data sources, which allow to make informed decisions regarding the provisioning of lending facilities to businesses and to enable the banks and non-bank lenders to enhance their credit risk profiles on an ongoing basis as they lend to our communities. Our platform provides customers the next generation technology solution that accelerates the decision-making process and through the use of technology simplifies and automates what is very often a very, very manual process. So Matt, how does AWS technology actually impact your customer's ability to transform their core processes? Good question. Um, AWS is for us a very foundational layer in, in our um, ecosystem because basically it's it's running under the hood and it allows us to run our core lending platform on top of the AWS services. Trade Ledger is a component-based and event-driven system and uh, AWS ensures us that we can focus on solving the right business problems for our customers. We wouldn't have been able to architect and operate such a very complex system as a small tech company 10, 20 years ago. And it's amazing to see the progress the whole kind of tech space is going through and and rapidly on an ongoing basis. With the solutions and services provided by our partner AWS, we can not only set up a highly resilient infrastructure, but also operate it and scale it very, very efficiently. A great solution is about innovation and change, and one that helps us to be agile and flexible and to adapt to the future requirements of our customers, the market and the society. The AWS ecosystem ultimately provides us with all the relevant ingredients, as well as the support to establish Trade Ledger as a world-class enterprise technology business. And together, we are pursuing the mission to strengthen our SMEs, which are the backbone of our society across the globe. Well, I'm so glad that AWS has helped you operate and scale your business. And what I want to know is, where do you see technology changing the landscape of lending for banks and their customers in the future? Good question. I mean, in in particular, in the financial industry, we see software as a service becoming a viable mainstream solution for banks, as do cloud-based services in general. Um, There has been a huge uptake in the recent five to 10 years in that market particular. In the future, we see clear global guidelines and requirements for technology companies like ourselves. These will help the banks and non-bank lenders to choose the best technology providers to help them grow their business in a sustainable way and enable them to run world-class distributed technology systems. One important area is data in general. Um, Data will continue to play an increasingly fundamental part, and in particular topics such as data ownership, data consent, and privacy, as well as data distribution, will require further research and innovation. We see a need for solutions in these areas as the current practice regarding replicated data sources and the usage throughout the ecosystem is highly inefficient and requires consistent enhancements to its security practices. The demands from society and regulators in this regard brings data management into the stark focus for us all. I absolutely agree that data will continue to play such a fundamental role in the lending landscape and that data ownership and data consent and data privacy, as you said, will be a huge focus for sure. So Matt, to round off this interview, what's on the cards for Trade Ledger in let's say the next 12 to 18 months? Yeah, currently, we are uh, our, our global team continues to focus on building out our origination and fulfillment solution. Um, and besides us going into full commercial scale mode, we will extend our product portfolio by introducing uh, further loan servicing capabilities. 
um, as the system and the platform is modular and componentized, um, it allows us to, to be highly configurable so that our customers can uh, build their own workflows, risk policies, and other requirements and launch new products very rapidly in a matter of a couple of weeks. Thank you so much, Mal. It's been a pleasure having you on the show today. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.